So the threat landscape is always changing, right? So what was true 15 years ago is not true today. What's true today will not be true in 15 years' time. So we can spend all our time trying to chase the wind, or we can get to understand ourselves better. And so what I actually advocate to a lot of these people is that they need to simplify, and through simplification they can focus on the things that are important to them, and then they can achieve better control. With respect to governments and countries within Asia supporting enterprise uh, through uh, the legislation and also providing incentives for enterprises to invest in security, it's a real challenging environment. Right? If you look at the, a lot of the crimes that are out there, they're international, they're transporter. So various different uh, law enforcement agencies have to interact. Um, also, a lot of technology is moving a lot faster than governments can actually turn around and legislate cyber crime acts. So it's going to be a real challenging environment. And the great thing for the cyber criminal is that they don't have this bureaucracy to actually overcome. Their primary goal is to make money. In terms of which verticals are going to be at most risk, it's largely going to be around the commerce sector, retail, and also financial sector. The reason being is that these verticals are information rich, especially from the perspective of the cyber criminal. A lot of the information they have is about users, about consumers, about people who they can then turn around and leverage that data to be able to go on forth with identity fraud and also around um, a lot of uh, financial fraud as well. So who are the key stakeholders for implementing security in any organisation? It really comes down to who is the information owner. So whether it be marketing, whether it be sales, whether it be operations, these are key stakeholders. These people understand what that information means in relation to the business. A lot of security people spend too much time understanding the technology, but failing to understand how that technology is being actually used by the business. So you may get caught up in a, a particular security threat or the latest trend and not actually be able to articulate what is that relationship back to the actual business. So when talking to executives who are the sponsors of investment in information security, uh, a lot of security people struggle to be able to articulate that. So an information security person can look at a customer record and think that it has some level of importance to the organisation, but only really can the business actually understand the full scope of the implication should that information be disclosed. If, you, um, if you're an enterprise and you're dealing with the, the mobile platform as being a way of actually conducting business, which you know you have to be, you essentially have to take the approach that this platform is compromised. You cannot rely on these devices to provide any level of security, as where traditionally a lot of people would design their applications with a great level of security. Well, they, they would assume that there was a high degree of security already in, in the platform. With mobile devices, you cannot make that assumption.